Now check it out. I know you guys have already seen that thumbnail and you done read that title, right? So you here. Look, today I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make. Look, check this out. This is the best chicken and dumpling recipe out there. Let's get it. Okay, so look, I want you guys to take a look at right here. This is the bird. You see all these ingredients. Don't let all of these ingredients fool you or get you intimidated. Look, it's real easy to make this recipe. And as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Okay, so look, this is what we're gonna do. Look, you wanna get yourself a bowl, right? I had already like just put all of this in here together, but look, you wanna get your flour. You know what I mean? Let me just go like this, get it over the top. This right here is good. Look, this is just a half a cup. We'll start with that there. I'm gonna leave this here because we're gonna use this later. Set this off to the side. Let me go with my kosher salt. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give this like just a couple of generous pinches. That was too generous and a small pinch of the kosher, right? Now I'm gonna come with my black pepper and I'm finna turn till I get tired. What I'm doing is I'm seasoning my flour so that I can see it. You know what I mean? I like to be able to see it. I like to see the specs. And then I've always told you guys, listen, it might sound crazy if you've never done it or never heard it, but listen, we're gonna have to go ahead and taste it after we get it blended up and make sure it's seasoned to our perfection. And for that level up, look, I'm gonna use my level up, you know, my level up A series, right? This is for that poetry. I'm gonna hit this, just give it a couple of little shakes like that. Right? I just don't want to overpower it. We just want to add a nice little flavor to it, right? So I'll sit that over here. I'll grab my whisk and we'll mix it together. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up, rinse them down, cut all of the pieces. You guys, I would suggest, you know what I mean? You don't always have to get yourself a complete bird like this. Go ahead and get the parts, you know what I mean? They sell them like that already cut. What I want to do is I just want to get these broke down and then I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go ahead and get these and get them coated with that flour and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so you guys can come on here and, and take a look, look. I got my quarters, I got my, you know, my breasts, and then I got my wings right here. I'm not gonna do these, you know, for no chicken and dumplings, right? So I'll save these along with the rest of the wings, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look. Underneath my Dutch oven, I got like a low flame, just for now, right? We're gonna take our oil, we're gonna go ahead and heat that up. Then, once we have that is, take a look at this part right here. Now, this is where you put your chicken pieces in here, especially like your breasts, right? I'm gonna take these, Look, we're just gonna go ahead and get these coated. Remember, we season this, and this is all right. I can smell my see, you know, my, my seasoning on here already. That A rub mm, gives it something fire. And I tasted it and I know it's right. So once I get it on here like this, you know what I mean? Then I shake it off. Once my oil is up to temp, then we're gonna go ahead and start browning, you know, our chicken. Okay, so you shake off your excess, right? And then you wanna go and just put it down. I'm gonna start with the bottom part of the, you know, of the breast, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them. We're gonna get these in here and we're gonna go ahead and brown them. We're not gonna cook them, we just wanna brown them. Okay, so if you guys take a look, you'll see, take this chicken out. I went a little far on that side, you know what I mean? You guys do it how you want to. I like for it to be just a little bit brown. That right there, you guys know that's a lot of flavor. Look at that right there. So I can put them some this way, just so you guys can see. My, the point is, you don't wanna go ahead and just, you know, like cook it all the way through, right? But this right here is cool, so I'ma set this over here. Okay, so look, I'ma show you right now. Look at that fine, all right? So we are gonna come with our onions. Just go ahead and add those in there, right? Don't forget we got carrots and celery. Okay, so look, this is my favorite part, y'all. Look, I'm gonna take these garlic cloves, load my press up. We finna have some minced garlic. So let me go ahead and get my, get in position right here. Look, we only gonna cook this garlic, right? Only for like one minute, All right? So look at that right there. Mm. You wanna talk about layers of flavor? We building it, folks. Okay, so now we're gonna come with our flour. It's been just a little bit over a minute. We start adding it. And don't forget, folks, everything in moderation, right? So we'll just keep moving this around like this. You know what I mean? Then we just add a little bit more, right? Until we get it all incorporated. So now that we got this in here, all of our flour has been like cooked in. We made sure we cooked that off. Now we'll go ahead and introduce, you know, our broth, right? Oh yeah. This is gonna be nice and thick for y'all, the way you like it. It's really into that flour, that absorbs all of the flavor, you know what I mean? And look how I'm doing it. I'm just working it in. You guys can see it come together on your, on, on your own. Look at that right there. Okay, so it's coming up to a simmer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my apple cider. 
trust me folks you know i always tell you guys trust the process right add that little bit of sugar keep just moving around and then we got our bay leaves and then underneath these bay leaves look we got them peppercorns okay so as this is coming up back to a boil then we're gonna reduce that to a simmer right we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken inside of here just like that remember i told you guys we wasn't cooking until it was done right we just wanted to put some of that flavor on there so i'm just gonna set this in here just like you see once it comes back up to a boil we're gonna set it to a simmer and now we're gonna make them dumplings folks okay with the chicken down here on the bottom let me make sure you guys can see that you see that right there we just put it in right now you can see the bubbles right we set it for a simmer we cover it and we're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes okay so look we got a cup and a third of all-purpose flour right we making them dumplings folks so i'm gonna go ahead and add my baking powder right then when it comes to the salt we're gonna add three quarter teaspoon right then we're gonna get that magical whisk and we're gonna mix and incorporate all this together you want to make sure it's everywhere folks so go ahead and just spend just a little bit of time making sure that you get it you know completely incorporated you want that baking powder to be everywhere look because it's a process we finna do okay so look first thing i did was melted my butter right so i'm gonna add my milk to this bowl, bowl right here right now my butter right now i'm just gonna go ahead and incorporate this together right now that we have that done i'm gonna bring my flour back right and what we're going to do is we're going to start introducing this over here to this right so i got myself a bigger whisk now I'll just start adding a little bit to it you know like this about about half is what you want to do right off the bat right so i just just give it a couple of swirls we don't want to like overwork it that's good right there can you guys see that now i'm getting ready to come with the last you know the second half right so now I'm just gonna go ahead and just work this. You can see it's gonna start turning the dough right in front of you, right? You just wanna get into the whole thing is completely moist. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, open this up, get all of this out, and I'm gonna get in here and work this with a, like a fork. So look, I want you guys to pay attention. Now I'm getting in here and working with, you know, working it in my hand, right? So just keep moving it, kneading it over. Again, you don't wanna overdo it. You know what I mean? I rub it over the side just to pick up some of that flour, you know? Okay, so look, we got our dough, right? Look, I just want to pull off just a little piece of dough, you know, about like that. This, this right here is the dumpling, folks. And we're just going to put it right there, right? Just grab a little bit. Don't need a whole lot. Because look, we put that powder in there. It's going to rise up a little bit. You know what I mean? So you just want to go ahead and add just about the same size as you see right here. Okay, so look, it's been about 22 minutes, right? I already turned off my fire. You know, I checked my chicken. It was up to temp real nice, right? So now you just want to take your chicken, right? I don't want to get none of my veggies with it. You know what I mean? And we just want to go ahead, take it, drain it best you can, and then you just want to put it on a plate because we got to let this cool because we're going to shred this down, folks. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna go ahead and skim the fat off of the top, right? You wanna get as much of it as you can, you know, as possible. You know what I mean? This should only take you like a couple of minutes, but your end result, you're gonna like it. It'll look more like what you guys get. If you guys got a fat separator, you can use that too. I do have one, but everybody don't have one of those. Okay, so look, I got the chicken broke down. Get yourself like two forks, right? And then you just wanna shred it. It's really up to you how big of pieces you want. I don't want to shred them. I don't like that fine. It's not like chicken noodle soup or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Even though it's going to have a similar taste to it, and it'll be fire, folks. Okay. I can hear it. Okay, we didn't come back up to a boil, right? I'm going to go ahead and set this to a simmer right now. Right? Now we're going to take our chicken after we done shredded it. And then we just go ahead and just start adding this, you know, to it. Right? Now, it's up to you how much chicken you want to put in there. But look at that right there, folks. Ooh-wee. Now, this right here, with all of these flares, uh, flavors that we done layered up, you know this is going to be good. So, look, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of that money right now. And that ain't even got no dumplings in it. Look at that. 
Ooh wee. Okay, so I can hear it. Look, we done got it up to a nice little, you know, boil, like a small boil. You know what I mean? I'm gonna reduce it down to where it'll simmer, right? I'm just go ahead and give this a little stir like this. Mm. Can y'all smell what I'm cooking? Now check this part out right here. Now we're gonna put them dumplings in the inside, right? So you just wanna take them, just add them in just like this. You know what I mean? Get the ones you like, cause we made a lot of them, you know? So I'm picking like, really like the bigger ones, you know? Ooh wee. And then we're gonna cook these for about 15 minutes. Okay, so let's take a look at it after about 15 minutes. Whew, look at that right there. This is nice. Let me see if I can reduce this down even lower. All right, so look, you wanna get yourself a toothpick. You wanna stick it inside of your dumpling like that. Then you wanna pull it up. And then when you look at it, you wanna see if it's gonna be clear. You know, clean. That right there, I don't see no bumps, no nothing. Just tell me that's right, right there, right? Now, we got a few ingredients that are left, right? So let me go ahead and get my wooden spoon. And check this out right here. We got this heavy cream. We're gonna go ahead and just add a little bit in here like that. You know, and just start working this in, right? We're gonna add a little bit more over here like that. We're gonna start working that in, but we're gonna do it with love. We don't wanna beat them dumplings up and then have them dumplings, you know, fall apart on us. But I'm gonna tell you, if you made them the way I showed you guys how to make them right now, listen, you got, they golden. Right, so check this out. Oh my goodness, folks. Right, now we're gonna add a little bit of that thyme and just a little bit of this parsley. You know, why not all the parsley? If you need some more and you wanna garnish, go ahead. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and plate, right? If you wanna see something that's hearty, look at that. You can see them carrots, you can see the celery in there, and of course you can see that chicken, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just take it. We're just gonna put it in like that. And look, guess what folks? We had a dumpling, right? So we go back, get a little bit more, you know, just add it like that. And then I'm gonna put one of these nice big dumplings in here. You know, remember we did some of the bigger ones, you know, look at that right there. And then just because I can and I'm the chef, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and add some. Take a look at that right there. Okay, so look, you guys seen it. All of this is like just a whole lot of yumminess. And I'm gonna go ahead and just be a little greedy on it, right? So look, you can see, look at that. We got some chicken and then, oh man. You know what? I don't know. Am I gonna be able to break one of these dumplings? You know, get it in half. You know what I mean? Let's see right here. You know what I mean? I don't wanna just like put that whole thing in my mouth. You know, we'll take that, we'll go back. But this is what we're gonna start off with right here, folks. You see this right here? Cheers, y'all. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but look, this is that time of year, right? Everybody doing chicken and dumplings. This right here, stick to your ribs, warm y'all up. Hey, listen, I'm getting hot underneath my hat right now, but the flavor profile this is over the top, folks. And I wanna tell you something too. You know what? We could've went in and got ourselves some biscuits, right? Pulled out a biscuit, we could've just cut quarter those, right? Cut them in half and then that in half, right? So you got quarters. That could've served as your dumpling too. It depends on how quick you want this to go. But with that being said, this right here is fire. I'm finna wrap this video up. You know why? Cause I'm finna eat, folks. I'm finna sit down and do me. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know how I'm finna leave, folks. I'm finna grab this, and guess what? I'm out. Peace.